In this video, you'll learn everything about Neuralink's brain implant trial. So, stick around. Neuralink, a company founded by Elon Musk, has received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, to conduct its first in-human clinical trial for its brain-computer interface BCI implant. The trial, known as the PRIME study, Precise Robotically Implanted Brain-Computer Interface, aims to evaluate the safety of the implant and surgical robot and assess the initial functionality of the BCI for enabling people with paralysis to control external devices with their thoughts. The PRIME study is intended to enable people with quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts alone. The study will involve the surgical placement of the N1 implant's ultrafine and flexible threads in a region of the brain that controls movement intention, allowing the implant to record and transmit brain signals wirelessly to an app that decodes movement intention. The company has been approved to begin recruiting patients for the trial. The trial is expected to take about six years to complete. It's important to note that the company has faced federal scrutiny following reports about its animal experiments and there have been concerns raised about the handling of animal testing and the potential reliability of the data. This is Pager. He's a nine-year-old macaque who had a Neuralink placed in each side of his... Additionally, before Neuralink's brain implants can reach the broader market, the company will need to conduct at least two rounds of trials to establish the safety and efficacy of the device. Overall, while Neuralink has received approval to conduct its first in-human clinical trial, there are ongoing discussions and concerns about the safety and reliability of the company's work, as well as ethical considerations regarding privacy and data handling. To participate in Neuralink's human trial, interested individuals can consider joining the Neuralink Patient Registry to learn more about the study and whether they may qualify. The patient registry is voluntary and open to individuals who are at least 18 years old, meet the age of majority in their state, and are US citizens or permanent residents with certain medical conditions. For the PRIME study, which is the first in human clinical trial for Neuralink's brain computer interface implant, the company is specifically looking for people with quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, who are over the age of 22 and have a consistent and reliable caregiver to be part of the study. Those who participate in the PRIME study will first participate in an 18-month study that involves nine visits with researchers. After that, they'll spend at least two hours a week on brain-computer interface research sessions and then do 20 more visits over the next five years.